What is up, you guys? It's David Gay. We'll come back here with another one more. I'm getting attacked when I spawn. Jesus Christ. Sorry if you missed any of that audio at the beginning. Nope. Oh, okay. Anyways, um, something I totally forgot about is when you load and quit, oh, well, if you quit and then load back, all the enemies will respawn, and I kind of was standing right next to a spawn of one of the enemies. So, yeah, I'm obviously good at this game. Last we left off, if you didn't watch the first episode, we were in the city, and, uh, there was a bunch of greasy floors and bloodstains everywhere, because that's what makes a quality game, but this guy's dead. Hmm. Oh, it's because I didn't kill those two guys before, so they don't respawn. It's just that I happened to spawn on oh, on an enemy that was uh, a do ba do. Hello, can I come in? Well, you don't gotta be so mean. I just wanted some cranberry juice. Go die, guy. Quicksilver bill, it's more. Uh, also, by the way, even if your equipment load is at maximum for what you can hold, like when it comes to, you know, whether it be uh, bullets or blood vials or pebbles for that matter, um, they'll go to your storage, which is actually in the Hunter's Dream. Um, so for all those who are worrying about, you know, whether you'll... Uh, and here we go. <laughs> Jump scare. Didn't want to say it this time. <laughs> um... For all of those people who are kind of worried that they might be able, they might be picking up too many items, uh, they do go to a place where they get stored. So you can always pick up more. There is a limit in your storage, though, so do keep that in mind. Now, for this beginning part, as you can see, ow, that hurted. As you can see, I'm kind of popping in and dodging and dipping and dodge, dive, duck, dodge, dodgeball in it. Um. There's, it's actually a really good way of playing in the beginning of the game because you can get very overwhelmed by just how many enemies are in this area. And I'm getting a bit off here. Go die. Die. F you, mate. Go die. Heal. And roll out of the bullet. And there's so much shit after already. So yeah. Go die, guy. Go die. Uh oh. And ouch. Side sweeping attacks. Oh, that hurt it again. <laughs> More hurt and damage. And dogs! My favorite kind of animal. Especially when they're kind of, you know, hungry looking and look like they want to eat my heart. So, I apologize a bit for the first video being a bit slower. A bit more, you know, melancholy, if you will. Um... I haven't recorded in a while, so it was hard to get my energy levels up. Especially at the big- oh god! Especially at the beginning, uh, where I kind of was trying to keep more to the story. Now that we're in, you know, the meat of it, I guess you could say, uh, I can, you know, explore the environment to kind of show things off a bit better. And there's a guy down there. How'd you get down here, guy? Ow! You motherfucker. Can I get that? As you can see right here, we just got a dangling body. Just, you know, oh wow, it's actually a werewolf. It kind of looks like it's pointing to where we gotta go. Left. It's amazing looking. Ooh. You know what? I kind of like how my girl looks, so I'm going to take the hood off. I like her hair. I like how she looks. She looks a lot better without the hood. And as you... I don't know if you noticed when I ran over here, but there is someone banging on the other side. Ooh. Gosh. You can see the dust coming from the bottom. Scary things. And you can't open the door or anything, so you got to fit... Oh, and there's one more guy? Jesus Christ. I swear there's like at least 20 guys in this general area, which is very o overwhelming, especially for new players. Which is why you gotta kinda do it like how I did it. Kinda try to bait them off one by one. Fight them all. I would pick up those bullets, but I don't really need them right now. I could always get more later. The bullets are on that guy. Usually all the gun guys will drop bullets. So that's just one way of farming. If you're looking for, you know, farming areas, look for guys with a bunch of guns. You can farm a bunch of things. Oh, and you can hear someone screaming and banging. Maybe it's the man on the other side. Now this is a shortcut that we're not going to use right here. You can kind of see the opening right about there. You can roll through, but we're not going to use it. Hello, can I come in? I don't reckon you're from around here. Nope. Well, stuck outside on a night of the hunt. Oh, you poor, poor thing. <laughs> but you poor thing, you're not going to help. <laughs> That's good, letting you poor thing. Well, uh, sorry, we got food and warmth in here. You can have death and despair. Well, let's try to get the backstab on this guy. And go die, you fucker. Right in the ass. I'm gonna give you a, was it a colonoscopy? Is that the right word for it? 
I'm gonna give you a probing. <laughs> sorry if I'm also, the mic sometimes kind of fritzes out when I laugh and stuff. I'm sorry, I'm just a laughy kind of guy. I'm a laughy taffy kind of guy. My favorite flavor is strawberry. That was a pun. Yes. Good for me. I've gotten at least one into the video now. I really do need to keep on looking at the clock though to make sure I don't go past the time. I do believe I started six minutes ago? Seven? We usually just cut around 12 so we don't go over the 15 minute mark and that just cuts off for no reason. If it does cut off for no reason, I'll probably try to put an annotation or something in the video to let you guys know what exactly happened, which is usually the same reason it's going to be every time it ever happens, which is, uh, oops, didn't look at the clock. Go die, guy. Uh, fucking dogs, stop being you. And, oh god, ooh, hurts, 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 hurts. And watch out for gun guy, and he hits me anyway because I'm great at the game. Go fuck yourself, bro. Jeez, there's just so much shit. Look at these dogs. I wish I could zoom in on them. We'll just look at his look at his face. It's terrifying. <laughs> and I love the ragdoll in his. It's not as great as it was in Dark Souls 1, but it's still there. <laughs> Tornado attack. Okay, let's get let's get serious. By the way, if you look on the- I already talked about the left top corner, you can see my health and stamina there as well as you can see the green bar will go down for stamina. On the top right side is, uh, souls, or echoes I should say, I'm sorry, I'm playing too much Dark Souls. Is echoes and then underneath it, that little eyeball, it shows zero, which is insight. Now because we're going to be doing an arcane build and I kind of want to have some kind of story to my character, we're actually going to be trying to get as much insight as we can. For beginning players, I suggest having a, the least amount of um, insight as you can because it does in fact make the game harder, but it does point out certain lore points in the game and certain different, um, you know, differentiations. That was a long word. <laughs> in the game, I'm going to equip some before I start getting attacked. Fire. Fire is actually the best thing against these beasts. Come here, baby. <laughs> go fuck yourself. And go fuck yourself. Can I get him? Yes. Oh, now I can just take care of the one guy. This will be a lot easier. Come here. Oh, baby. Fuck you and your life can go die. Alright, that was pretty easy. <laughs> like I said, the strength the strength, uh, or violent pass, whatever you want to call it, um, beginning is actually one of the best, I think, in my opinion. Just look at this real quick. Just looking over the city now. Kind of just look at so oh, wow, <laughs> looked like there was bats there. Like, you kind of see the detail. A lot of this game is really interconnected. Like you go to this one area, you look down, you can see the next area. I'm up here now, and I can see the place I was just at. Uh, there's there's something really I lo something I love about that where everything connects in this world to make it feel like it's a real world. You know, you make two lefts and uh, another left, you're gonna make a circle, dog. You know what I'm saying? You know, you, you know, you know what I'm saying. Boy. One of the loudest thing in the game. <laughs> Barrels. And we drop down here, and then we got a Mr. Magoo who's gonna. Oh, any aggroed fuck. He's, he's gonna stay there, any. Alright. Nope, we're gonna heal first, and then we're going to. Fuck your mom! Oh god! And then we're going to wait. And then we're going to. Fuck your mom! <laughs> No moms are fucked in the making of this video. <laughs> oh gosh, uh, jokes, man. Do not become a comedian, please, James. Don't do it. You can kind of see how this whole Yarnum place, which is the name of the city we're in, has been affected by this plague, making everyone into beasts. And as you can see, these guys are kind of in the, the deep of it. And ow, he hit me. But if I get the cross, I heal. I don't know, you guys can kind of pay attention to it, but I'll try to show it off a bit. If I take damage, but immediately try to attack afterwards... Oh my gosh, that was close. These guys hurt. Oh my gosh, and I didn't get the repost. Shit. Fuck you. Whew. This guy's really turned. Like, look at him. He's basically a werewolf at this point. But if you get damaged, but are able to kind of bring back the damage a bit, like, if you can attack... Right after getting damage, you can actually heal a portion of your life back. This is actually why this game is a lot more, uh... Where you have to be a lot more offensive than defensive in this game. At certain parts, at least. Oh, that guy! Oh, I hate this guy. Yes, I got it. 
these guys hurt like hell. Oh, let me get to them. Come on. Nope. 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 Whew. Oh, don't drop your thing. And he's gone. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at this sewer I'm in, dog. I feel dirty being down here. Rats. I think they actually react to sound, so if you're really quiet going through this area, you might not be able to aggro, like, at any of them. Let me see. So if I just sneak... I am in water, so I am... See, as you can see, I'm getting really close to this rat without him even seeing me. So I can... And fuck him. <laughs> and you kind of want to aggro these guys one at a time. You can also use throwing knives to kind of aggro them off. But they do, you know, going 1v4 against rats isn't always a good idea. Even though they're weaker enemies, you know, it's not always a good idea to try to fight multiple enemies at once ever in this game. You should try to, you know, fight them 1v1. Oh, and that hurts. F you, rat. Giant ass rats. You kinda, let me see if I can turn this guy over. You can sign it. It's giant eyeballs with bumps coming out of its face. You can't really see it at this angle. But Jesus Christ, look at them teeth, too. Jesus, fuck. Scary stuff, guys. If you're scared of rats, sorry. <laughs> and I think it's just about time to wrap up this video. We are collecting all the items so far, so if you, you know, if you're following along with me and playing along, if you're playing along, uh, we should have all the items and, you know, as much souls as we can right now. We're actually going to go down here. Next time <laughs> on Bloodborne. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know come back again for my next video um i'm actually recording this right after i made my first video but i'm actually going to keep it on my playstation 4 and then upload it later on a later date just so i don't have to record these on the day that i make them just you know i had my energy levels up i was like the first one was a little slow so let me make this one right afterwards when i'm a little bit more energized but nonetheless before this video ends abruptly hope you guys enjoyed i'll see you guys next time peace out